What could it be on this street in downtown Green Bay that has pedestrians stopping and looking? It's art. Paintings and other works of art displayed for all to enjoy in a most unlikely place, a vacant storefront. Although the exhibition space is not open for people to come inside, it's arranged so that anyone passing on the sidewalk can stop and enjoy a little culture. Uh, the city of Green Bay invited us to come down and show the work to somewhat beautify this area, add some art and culture to the downtown. It's called a pop-up art gallery because it pops up where you least expect it. In this case, the empty storefront at the corner of Cherry Street and Adams Street. Molly Johnson from the Academy of Fine Art in Denmark began the exhibition last fall and has kept it going with a steady supply of pieces created by both her students and her staff. That's, that's an optimal way to call attention to a facility that perhaps someone could use in a, in, a, in a pleasant way. But it's also a way to introduce people to art, right? Absolutely. The artwork is on display around the clock. It's even lit up so nighttime pedestrians can enjoy the show too. Johnson and her staff try to keep it fresh by bringing in new pieces of art every couple of months. And as long as the property remains vacant and the landlord wants to continue supporting the arts, the show will go on. Uh, you cannot come in the building to see the work, but, but it, as a window gazer, you can see it. I've received lots of calls and I've given out a lot of information for students, but also people just congratulating us on the wonderful work that we're showing. At Green Bay's Pop-Up Art Gallery, for the Green Bay Press-Gazette, this is Scott Williams.